Hey guys, welcome to my kitchen. This is a kitchen that I don't use that much for actual cooking, which is why I love my green smoothies so much. Because I'm not a big cook, I love making green smoothies in the morning because no matter what happens for the rest of the day, if I'm running around and I end up grabbing food on the go, at least I know I've gotten some really good nutrients, antioxidants, and fruits and vegetables in first thing in the morning. greens today we have spinach and parsley you could also use kale spinach is a little bit sweeter so it's nicer to eat um, then you have an apple which gives you sweetness and it's also kind of the base of the smoothie the lemon gives you acid acid actually helps to cut the bitter bitterness of the greens and it's super good for you really good during cold and flu season to do this one because you have lemon you also have ginger that adds a little bit of spice uh, I would say like, you could do like this nub right here. I would put that whole thing in, depends how spicy you like it. Then you have turmeric. They look like little bugs. I know, my boyfriend always makes fun of me. He's like, that looks so gross, but it's actually really, really good for you. You add a little bit of pepper and that helps to activate the turmeric. That's a little trick that I learned. Um, then you have the chia seeds, which is a bit of really good fat. If you like your smoothie to be thicker, you can have the whole grain ones, otherwise the ground ones make it a little bit less thick, which I actually prefer, but this is what I could find at the grocery store this time. And you have maple syrup, um, which is just for sweetness. Like my teacher, my yoga teacher, Nishala Devi would say, eat sweets, it makes you sweet. So it's a little sweetness for your life. It's usually easy enough to find kale or spinach in the winter and in the fall. And usually ginger and turmeric you can find year round as well. If you have a parsley plant, that's great too, because then you just like kind of grow your own. Um, so I'm putting in the ginger in little chunks. Turmeric stains, so <laughs> fine depending on my manicure. <laughs> if I have like light nails, they tend to get all orange, which is not the best, but it, then it comes off. Wish I could impress you with my knife skills. Not gonna happen. So that's what it looks like. We chop it up into a smoothie and then a little bit of pepper on top. Like I'll actually take, honestly, a whole, like this much, not the stems. That's not good. Depending on how big your blender is, is how much greens you can usually put in. Because I like to get a lot of greens in. So you can see that I've got a pretty big bunch here. I'm just shoving right in there. It says max fill there, so I, I, this is like a nice thick smoothie here that we're making. Um, then I'll just take a little bit of uh, parsley, not as much obviously, because parsley tastes stronger, but I find it's like pretty packed with good stuff. And put my chia seeds in, which are full of antioxidants and omegas, the good kinds of fat. That goes right in there. This one has a lot of seeds. Wholly organic. This is like my least favorite part of making the smoothie is getting the lemon in without getting all the seeds in. Good thing I meditate before I make my smoothie. <laughs> I guess if you had one of those like lemon thingies that like take the seeds out for you, maybe I should invest in one of those. Ooh. Then maple syrup. So this is again, just for a little bit of sweetness. Um, depending on how bitter you like your smoothie, you might not need it at all. And because I've had this thing for so long and I use it every day, it sometimes doesn't work very well. I think I'm gonna have to invest in a new one. Ninja, if you're watching, if you wanna send me another one of these, I'd really appreciate it. trick to the smoothie is to blend it for a long time. Keep blending it. It's hilarious. If my cats are around when I'm doing this, they get so scared. Like, out of here. Okay, my friends. Let's see how this green smoothie turned out. Wow, look at that. It looks so good. Check out how green that is. And it's all frothy and delicious. So there you have it folks, my green smoothie that I make in the morning. Just kidding, it tastes amazing. It's actually really gingery, I love it.
Mm. I never get tired of this smoothie. Please try it out. Let me know in the comments below how it goes. If you have your own smoothie recipe that you'd like to share in the comments, please leave it as well. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.